Hey all, welcome back. It is another car edition of Two Martini Stitcher Floss Tube. <laughs> welcome. Um, I'm Erin, the Two Martini Stitcher, both here on Instagram, although I have clearly taken an unplanned hiatus from posting on Instagram. I'm thinking about maybe jumping back into the posting on Instagram. For quite a while there, it just felt like another thing on the to-do list that was a burden a burden but it was just something on the to-do list it felt like and I don't think that that's probably how social media or connecting with people should feel and so I still love to scroll Instagram but I haven't been posting on there recently however I'm, I'm thinking about it I'm thinking about getting, getting back to it and without the pressure of feeling like I should be posting every day that was the biggest thing is I was not an everyday poster and I would feel some sort of way when I didn't like I was failing at something and I just we all should give ourselves some grace this is this is a fun hobby okay that was that was already a turn uh, welcome this is a flat this is a YouTube channel about cross stitch and a little bit of knitting and uh, so if you're here for the first time, welcome. I hope you see something you like. I'm not usually in my car. Although the end of June update was filmed in my car and apparently so is my July update. Uh, I, life is a little, a little busy right now. So let's do a little life update and then I'll show you what I worked on in July, both stitching and knitting. And then we'll talk a little bit about my not at all arbitrary August plans. Life update, uh, when I saw you last, we were getting ready to head to Las Vegas for my girls' dance team nationals. We went, we did the thing. It was a phenomenal week for the girls and their dancing. The teams did amazing. They had a fantastic time, were amazingly inspired. Uh, it was a wonderful trip from a dance perspective. Uh, from a family trip perspective it's just too long that's too long in Vegas it was really really hot and it was a little bit like the wild wild west when we were there in Vegas they have since put a mask mandate back on for the casinos but it was not when we were there and so that was a little jarring so we kind of just went and did the dance thing hung out at the pool uh, the husband and I did a couple small, I did go to Stitcher's Paradise. That was fun. I did manage to pop in really quickly to Stitcher's Paradise. Uh, I will put a couple pictures that I took. I was It was so fun to be there, uh, but I didn't take nearly enough pictures while I was in there. But I'll stick the couple pictures that I did take in here. And uh, yeah, so I went to Stitcher's Paradise one day. I snuck that in. We went and saw one of the like Van Gogh exhibits, like inner, it's not really interactive, but the ones where they do projections of the Van Gogh paintings. That was fun. Uh, and at the end of the week, we had, when the girls were done dancing, we had a really yummy tapas dinner and went and saw, oh, the Cirque Show. Drew and I had seen it before, the girls had it. It's a phenomenal show. So that was Las Vegas. There was very little stitching happening in Vegas. It's so busy. Um, as usual, I had high hopes for how much stitching would get done, and hardly any stitching got done. But then we came back, and it's been catching up at home. The auditions for next year's team have already happened. And uh, Becca auditioned again. So Abby graduated and she's done. There were a lot of tears. There were a lot of tears watching all the seniors do their final performances at nationals. Um, Becca auditioned again and actually got placed on the highest level of team, which came as a bit of a surprise to us. So her choreo week, 
is now, which is why I'm sitting at the studio while she um, is in choreography. But I thought that I would have this week to film a floss tube, but instead it's been a lot of running back and forth and that's okay. It's actually great. She's very excited, but it means another, another car talk, another car talk. It's all right. So work, my work that I do at the studio has gotten very busy. She's very busy at the studio and we're getting ready now to move Abby to college at the end of this month. It is August 4th. I should have said that at the beginning. I'm filming on Wednesday, August 4th. And we'll be moving um, Abby in just like three weeks. Week. So that's, that's what we're up to here. I know a lot of places are already going back to school. I'm already seeing the back to school photos. We don't start until September 1st. Uh, my oldest, Sarah, who's at the University of Washington, they don't start until the third week of September. So we're still in our last few weeks of summer. Summer break. Uh, it's definitely still summer. It's been quite hot. Okay, that's enough life update. Let's look at some stitching, shall we? I have projects in here kind of in the order I worked on them. But it's been, it's continued to be a little sweet wee stitch what I want when I want and I feel like I have something stuck in my teeth that's real life okay um yeah I've been sort of I would say sort of monogamous except that there's a lot of projects in here but I have been more focused I feel like than normal and I'm gonna keep that rolling when we talk about plans all right, so what I work on? On July 1st, this project had a birthday, so I picked this up real quick for just that one night before we headed out, and that project is um, the Sing a Sampler series by Silver Creek Samplers. I started this last year, um, probably hear the ambulance, in uh, on July 1st for Jolly July, as high tea start. I'm going to pause for a moment. All right. I figured we'd just let those ambulances, emergency vehicles go by. Okay. So sing a sampler. Um, I am doing these all together. Uh, four by four. Right. I think that's right. Four by four. And, um, with the with like a total color conversion. It's a total color conversion, but it's not really mine. It's a Jan Hicks color conversion. I will link it below. I'm not using exactly her colors, but it's, it's that, it's all bright. It's bright, it's rainbow. I used her color conversion as a jumping off point. Um, so I will link her website where she has her color conversions below so you can go take a look at what the final uh, product looks like. And this is where I am. Ta -da! So I think when I last stitched on this and it had been a while, I had either all or part of the R done and I did the E and um, a drop of gold <laughs> is as far as I got. So I'm working on the second block. I had I got do all done. I'm working on Ray. So this is I'm stitching it on a 32 count vintage smoky white Belfast linen, and it's one of those ones that's printed. So it's solid on the back, and it has like a printed modeling on the front. I really like this color. Ooh, vintage smoky white, and. You can see here's my colors, like my main colors for each block, like the border and such. So you can see it's going to be super bright, really bright. And then I just have some other just like random when I'm doing the little inside pieces, I'm just picking colors that look good. Mm -hmm. Are some of you super organized people having a little bit of a heart attack watching me just pull random flosses out of the bag that are in, they're just thrown in there. <laughs> However, all the colors that I have used so far or I'm going to use on the border are all in 
uh, my whip spreadsheet so that is in the description box below there's a link to my um, 2021 whip spreadsheet and it has all the information on all my projects and when I started them and size and fabric and floss and all the good information that I sometimes forget to say uh, during these videos so it's linked below so that you can find it easily so that I can find it easily all right so that was sing a sampler I worked on that one day and then uh, when we went to Vegas I took two projects with me the first one was doo -doo -doo, autumn drum and uh, I had talked about this in my last video it had had its birthday and then I decided to use it as a 25 7 piece for a little bit uh, and just finish it up looks like there's more emergency vehicles coming hold on must be a bad wreck or something I hope everyone's okay all right so autumn drum so I decided that I was gonna do this for like 25 7 stitch on it for 25 ish minutes a day every day until it was done because when I pulled it out for its birthday I just was like oh this is I mean it wasn't super close but it felt like it wouldn't take that many days of stitching to get it finished and sure enough last month I finished it it's a finish so there's the side I cannot remember at all where this was when I showed it to you last month but now it's done. There it is. That's amazing. So that's the side. I had already finished the top, um, but there's the top of the drum. And now it just needs to be fully finished, which I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be dropping this off at Acorns and Threads for Joel and to finish for me. <laughs> pretty sure she did the cover model. So that looks great. Let's do that. So I'm very excited because this is one of my 2019 whips and now it's done. It's all done. So when I finished that up, I came back to uh, Crosses of the Kingdom as my 25-7 piece. I had been working on this one. I showed this to you last time and then I decided to just give it a little break so I didn't burn out and I did the, eight, the autumn drum. And now I'm back and I'm really enjoying stitching on this. So I've been working on this now for a couple more weeks. I will put a picture of where it was last time in here. So that's where you saw it last time. And I think I've gotten good progress even though I you know had a little bit of a break from it to do autumn drum because here it is now Whoop. yeah look at that so this is all the way these two sections are completely done um this is all the way down to the bottom top to bottom all the way across and now i've come back up and I'm working to work these two sections and then there's two more. So there's six pages in this booklet, um, but they're not like all the same size, but I'm just taking it section by section and it's looking so good. It's looking so good. Look at this. Ah! Um, so I'm just gonna keep working on this until I feel the need to put it down again or possibly until September. We'll see. Uh, I am stitching this on a 32 count white linen with anchor black and petite treasure braid number 40. That's it. Crosses of the kingdom. This is what it's going to look like when it's all done. And I'm stitching this for my parents' 50, my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. That is next August. Their 49th is in just about a week or so. So. There we go. So I've got a year. And I feel like if I just keep at it, it's gonna be no problem. No problem, and I won't be stressing this time next year. That's the plan. 
I mean, I, I know plans go awry, but I do pretty good when I'm on a deadline timeline. Okay. I got distracted by 25 seven. The other project that I took with me to Las Vegas is if I can find the cover photo, the 2020 pandemic sampler, because I was thinking and trying to do the stitch along that Deborah Carroll put together where you do one of, she has it split up real nice into eight sections and you do one section a month. And I thought, okay, I didn't, I didn't get a section done in June, but I was like, maybe I can finish that section and get another one done in July. And I did work on it quite a bit. Uh, I worked on it some in Vegas. I should say that. I worked on it some in Vegas and then I got distracted when I got home. <laughs> so I did get some progress on it and I think it's looking really pretty, but I'm definitely off the finish a section a month bandwagon. And that is mostly because I think I have now come up with another, a different plan for working on whips, which we'll talk about later in plans. But look how pretty this like teal color is. This is really pretty and really fun to stitch. And now we have a train coming. I'm gonna, like, this is like when we, there's people's dogs barking. When, instead of here we pause for trains and ambulances. Hold on. Okay, train passed by. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But this is just life these days. I would roll up the windows, but it's really hot here today and I kind of need the breeze. I parked in the shade. I parked in the one shady spot in the dance uh, studio parking lot. And I have the windows rolled down a little bit just to get a little breeze so I don't cook myself in the car. All right, so that's what I worked on in Vegas and for 25-7 this past month. And then I got home and one of the reasons that Pandemic Sampler got a little derailed was because I came home and uh, did sort of participated in the Black Needle Society uh, night garden retreat. The Black Needle Society retreat, the theme this year was night garden. Let me just say, Black Needle Society ladies, they put on an amazing online retreat. There's so many different fun activities and challenges and people chat in the chat rooms and it, they do a fantastic job. I just apparently am not good at online retreats. I get distracted when I'm at home. There's lots of other stuff going on with the family and you know, I'm working on dinner and laundry and I think for me to successfully do an online retreat, I would need to like go away to a hotel for a few days and try to focus. I'm a little too easily distracted. However, I did participate in a few of the challenges and so I got out a couple projects that probably wouldn't normally have gotten to work, be worked on. And that's really fun just to meet some of the, the challenge prompts because they were all kind of garden themed. I think this one, the, the prompt for this one was something with a mushroom, which immediately made me think of Tree of Magic there's all kinds of mushrooms but I love this big mushroom so this was the first project that popped into my mind so I pulled it out and I worked on it for a few hundred stitches and oh it made me just want to work on this all the time which is kind of what happens with all my whips I pull them out and go I want to work on this all the time so here is where I got to I was working over on this shelf I was hoping to get the whole shelf done but I didn't but I did get some trees in and some mushrooms in and started on these flowers down here. Um, this is a kit. This kit comes as a kit from Nitka Moscow. I will link her website and Instagram below. Um, and I think that she even has some like kind of bundle deals on getting multiple kits. So this is designed by Barbara Anna, but it's only available through Nitka Moscow. Um, so 
love, love, love that piece. So I, it's all the kit stuff. It's kit linen, kit flosses. The flosses come beautifully braided. It's all DMC. Um, amazing needle minder from Abby Top Knot. It's a bear. And it's panda bear in a suit smoking a pipe. That would be in a tree of magic, don't you think? Okay. So that was the first project that I pulled out for Night Garden Retreat. And then the next one, I can't even remember what the prompt was for this. Ooh, moon. I, I think it was a project with a moon, which immediately made me think of Emily's house because of course, like there's two moons on Emily's house and this hadn't been out for a while. So I was very happy to get this out again. Um, I am stitching this on a 36 count linen from x Designs in Drapple Brown, I believe. And here's where I am. And I put in, this was great retreat stitching because I put in several of these flowers and the little duty lead dots in the corners, but mostly I worked on these flowers, which are just great retreat stitching. There's another tree. All right, so that was Emily's house. And I'm stitching that with all the called four colors. I had bought um, the whole thing as a kit with the bag and everything from uh, Lindy Stitches. So that's Emily's house. Of course, now I just want to stitch on that more and more too. Uh, okay, so next up, I also, another thing that I worked on here and there over the course of the month was, I want to show you guys a chart, Christmas Sampler 2 by uh, Cottage Garden Samplings. I've been working on this for the Semi-Sane Stitchers ABC Challenge, and um, I was behind again because this is what happens is I don't touch it for a month and then I have a uh, few to do, but I'm all caught up now until the middle of August. So um, here it is now. And this is, I'm gonna, I could just gotta say, this is kind of a genius way to do like this type of sampler or any like ABC type sampler uh, because you just do one little piece like every two weeks and then at the end of the year it's done, right? Like very excited. All right, so I think last I had shown you I had finished lights, so I did Mary, Noel, Occasion, and Poinsettia, and all of the little doodly dads that go along with it. I had to do these last two leaves, but this is just really pretty. I'm still really loving this stitch. And this is on a piece of Be Stitch Me Linen. It's 36 count granite. 36 count granite and I'm doing it with called for ish colors. I think there were a few that I didn't have and so I picked something that was close but it's looking really good and now I'm all caught up. So I am staying on top of some things. Not the pandemic sampler. Very impressed. I'm very much enjoying watching all the people that are doing like a whole section a month. That's fantastic. Okay and then uh I got something amazing in the mail that I had to start right away. I had to start right away. So this is a little bit of haul, but you're gonna, but we'll show it now because the whole package came and I had to start the chart. And once I did, I had to finish it. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the project first. And then I'll show you what all came in the box. <gasps> I don't have it. Oh my gosh. I didn't bring, I didn't bring the pattern because it's already in the mail. The pattern's already in the mail. Okay. i show you the finished project though. Here is the finished project. The World is Odd by Bendy Stitchy. Isn't this amazing? And it came, I was able to order, as I'm a, a Patreon, I'm a patron of uh, Michelle Garrett, Bendy Stitchy. And she put together 
with Twisted Rabbit Creations, this amazing kit for a scrapbook journal. This was done by Twisted Rabbit. The chart is by Michelle and it's gonna go on the front of this journal. I can't believe there's another train. I may end up like ditching this whole video because this is a little crazy. But we're gonna soldier on. We're just gonna keep pushing through. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything that came in this amazing kit. Uh, her patrons were able to order this. It wasn't really available anywhere else. I know since I got mine that Twisted Rabbit put up a pre-order for another set. I think it's probably already sold out and closed, but I'm gonna put all the information and like website and everything in the description box because watch her spaces because this look how gorgeous so it, it has little pretty ties and it's all handmade and bound and there's just oh look at this the world is odd this is just a beautifully made I've been wanting to jump on the cross stitch journal uh, phenomenon why not uh, I just I've loved watching uh, Michelle and everybody else who look at this little snail charm uh, and everybody else who's been doing it put together their journals with like little cross stitch smalls and I've been thinking about it and meaning to do it and so then when Michelle offered this set I jumped look the back has a little library card the quality of this is amazing and so you got the journal and of course the chart you could choose I think linen or Ada and then you could there's two colorways in the chart there's one that was cottons that was all shades of blue that was um, I think fiberlicious this is fiberlicious fabric it's gorgeous there's plenty extra which makes me super happy because it's such pretty linen and so nice to work with. And then you, so you could choose linen and Ada and then either cottons from Fiberlicious in blues or almond m and silks in this bright colorway. So of course I chose that. Also the package was just amazing. Wait till you see everything that was in it. This little floss drop with that adorable snail was also in there so I used it and look how much silk is left over it looks like I didn't even use any it looks like I didn't even use any on that chart there's so much leftover silk which makes me so happy because look at these colors look at these colors okay um so it came with the fabric the chart the silks the journal floss drop and then there's all this other cute things in here there's some little lace for finishing that has Michelle's like logo and aesthetic on it there's some more lace and this is the twisted rabbits it's like a, a hair hat right also with some lace and then there was also all this other like ephemera to use in your journal and other papers there's even more in the box that I can't seem to get out there's all kinds of little papers and stickers and tags to use in your journal it was an amazing package amazing and uh, if you're able to snag one I say snag one, even if you can just get one of her journals, but I feel like she's gonna be pretty busy making these for a while. So that came and I got a little distracted because I had to start it right away. And then once I started, I thought this is gonna be quick and I went to put this all together. And so I finished it. And that was just maybe like a week ago that I finished that. Um, so hopefully maybe next time I see you again, I'll have that all put together on the journal and I'll have started filling the journal. <gasps> Let's make that a goal. Let's make that a goal for the next time I see you. Because how fun would it be to have that all put together and have some little smalls in it? 
That'd be awesome. Okay. So I finished that and then I had a few days at the end of the month and I don't know why this project leapt to mind, but it did because I thought my oldest daughter's birthday is at the end of the month. And I made me think of this little chart, a waffle lot. This came in one of the Black Needle Society boxes, I think back in January. And a bunch of us started it in February. And I started it. And I thought, oh, maybe I could finish that for Sarah's birthday because she loves waffles. For some reason, this pattern makes me think of her. She does a little bit of sewing. So I think it would be fun for her to use it as a little pin cushion. Um, and I thought, well, maybe I could get that done for her birthday. And so I pulled it out and worked on it. And as soon as I pulled it out, I didn't have as much done on it as I thought that I did. It was further along in my head than I thought that it was. And so that's already been abandoned. And now I think maybe, maybe Christmas, maybe I could have this for, for Christmas or next Valentine's Day. I don't know, but I did work on it some. Yeah. See, not, I didn't, hadn't even have the border finished in my head. The border was finished. In my head, this was like, the top was three quarters done. <laughs> no. Uh, but it is a really pretty pattern. And I started working on the waffle. I finished the border. I started, because there's even like a like row of pink on this border. This is such a pretty fun chart. I mean, I love Kathy's charts. I just love, love, love them. So... I did get a little bit of work on this. I am using my own colors pulled from stash. So these are my colors. A lot of color and cotton, but really fun and bright. And um, yeah, so I worked on that for a day or two. And <laughs> quickly realized that was not going to be finished for her birthday. So. The last thing I'm going to show you kind of leads me into stitching plans. This whip that I've been working on had its birthday on the 31st of July. And I've kind of been toying with this idea. I love getting my whips out on their birthday. Um, in the past, I've always gotten them out and given them a day of work. It makes me put my hands on every single whip at least once a year to decide if I still want to continue with it. Uh, but what usually happens is I pull it out and I think, oh, I love this. I want to work on this more, but it just gets out one day, which means that they don't, unless I end up using it for like a whip go or for some other reason, it becomes a focus piece. Things can get pulled out and touched once a year and then not get a lot of progress on them. So I've been toying with this whole finish what you started Sal that my friend Alicia Resist Stitch, wonderful human being, I'll link her Instagram below. She doesn't record floss tubes, but you can follow her on Instagram. She had this idea to do finish what she started. So that's the hashtag, hashtag finish what I started. I think maybe even 2021, I'll put the hashtag below as well. Um, and she's keeping track. It's not a no new starts. It's just finish more things than you start kind of deal. And I've been in a let's finish some of these whips kind of mood anyway. So I thought to myself, what if when a whip has a birthday, I work on it until either A, it's finished or I run into another whip's birthday. I might finish some of what I started or at least get good progress. Now, there are definitely times of the year where I start things boom, boom, boom and some projects might not get a ton of progress, that's okay. So I'm gonna give this a go for at least a little while. We'll see how it goes. So the first one up is Hands On Design um, Let's Talk Autumn. I started this July 31st last year and I didn't have a whole lot done on it. I will sh pop a picture of where it was when I pulled it out on the 31st here. So that's where it was. Every day I've been working on Crosses of the Kingdom for at least 25 minutes and then I work on this. And I'm gonna work on this until either A, it's finished 
or until the 17th because August 17th is my next whip's birthday and I can't remember what whip it is but I have a little while and so let's see how far I get maybe I finish it I don't know this is quite a bit of stitching it's maybe a little more than I thought it was aren't they always uh, but this is where I've gotten to so far so hey I'm trucking along got a great little needle minder on there that was from Black Needle Society from their fall box last year you can see I started winter too so that'll get pulled out eventually and I have it I have this I bought a half yard of uh, this is 16 count Ada in dirty chalkboard from be stitch me I custom ordered this piece with the idea of doing all four of these on this piece of fabric and I'm using the called for DMC and it's going great it's going great so what do you think of the new plan and I'm not saying no starts because honestly 17 days is a lot of days for me to focus on one project so I figure if I get a little antsy in the middle I do have one small tiny project that I might start and give a day of work and then come back to this but in general my idea is only work on this um, only work on a project from its birthday until the next whip's birthday that's the idea so that's the plan now this might get interrupted a little bit come September because I got fun fun marathon stitching plans with Michelle and Alicia at resist stitch starting in September so I'm sure we'll have more information coming but if you've been around for a while a little over if you've been around if you were around since last year Last year, we did a uh, kind of stitching challenge where we stitched on a project for 100 hours and did it as a fundraiser for the Cleveland Clinic um, for cancer research. And it was, we had so much fun. There were like auctions and um, we did Zoom meetups for a donation and the stitching community really came together. and blew us away with how much money we raised for cancer research so we decided we wanted to do it again this year I think last year we did it in June and July um, Alicia and Michelle were really um, sweet about pushing it back a little bit because I have a crazy uh, June July August with graduations and traveling and moving kids to college so we're doing September October and we're gonna pledge another hundred hours of stitching each of us and do lots of other fun things um, we're gonna be raising money for a different cause this year we decided we wanted to spread it around a little bit so but that's coming so I have sorely sorely neglected my full coverage um, I hate farewell to anger this year At the beginning of the year I was planning 21,000 stitches in 2021 with full coverage fanatics I don't know where I am on that not far is the answer so I figure a hundred hours should maybe put me back on track so that's the plan for September and that would mean that whatever whips have birthdays might move into that 25 7 spot for a couple months so they will get work but not like super super concentrated work but a little bit of work you know plans are flexible they're they're plans uh, they're always written in sand definitely in pencil in my uh, planner so but that's kind of where I'm thinking uh, I don't know that I'll be back again until the beginning of September because as I said we are moving a kiddo to college uh, later this month so but for sure I'll be back at the beginning of September to kick that all off and hopefully with everybody going back to school and back to work in the office things will get a little bit more regular and I won't be in the car so much so that's the plans for stitching I do have a little bit of knitting to show if anybody wants to stick around for knitting uh, so if you only are interested in stitching that's all I have uh, today for stitching. 
But if you want to see some knitting, I have a little bit of knitting because I have still been on a bit of a knitting tear. Uh, last time I showed you my Lentilla. Do I have the picture? My Lentilla scarf. Uh, uh, uh. There it is. That's the Lentilla uh, by Strickmitch. It's one of the hitchhiker uh, type scarves. And I have been calling this with my friend Annie. Joyfield Stitcher. She's on a bit of a knitting break because, you know, she lives in Texas and it's a thousand million degrees, uh, which doesn't really make you want to knit. Here in the Pacific Northwest, it's warm today, but it's a little less warm. Uh, and I did take this to Vegas and I got some more work done on this. Look at that. This, so this is where I was when I showed you last time. And then I took it to Vegas and put in a few more little ruffles. And this thing is really growing. Look at that. It's looking like a real scarf. Look at that. Looking like a little scarfy shawl. So pretty. Um, I am knitting this on needles. Don't know what size. Maybe threes. Yep, US threes. Oof, look at that. And I'm knitting it with this beautiful Treehouse Knits uh, yarn in the colorway Seattle. Speaking of Treehouse Knits, She's about to release a whole collection inspired on the movie Coco. Oh, they look amazing. And it's going to be hard for me not to buy like every single color in a sweater quantity. I'll link her below. Check her out. Her yarn is squishy and gorgeous. And she has an eye for color that is. Huh? Um, so, yes. But Treehouse knit, tree Knits in the colorway Seattle and that is my progress on my lentilla but since I got back from Vegas this has been set aside because I got back from Vegas and I was doing a little vlogging for my channel members and I started opening an advent from fangirl fibers that was a summer advent based on Bridgerton <laughs> And as soon as I started opening, it started on July 1st, uh, I was behind because we didn't get home until like the 12th. So uh, I started, as soon as I started opening them, I had to start the project. So the box was from Fangirl Fibers. I will link her below because she has some holiday advents, I think still available. And there's some great themes. She also has some cross stitch advents that look really fun. Uh, one of them I know comes with a bendy stitchy chart that looks adorable from the sneak peek. Uh, I went to buy all the advents. I'm trying to resist, but I went to buy all the advents. Uh, but this one, super fun, and it came with this pattern for the Lady Whistle Down Wrap from Jessica Anderson. So I took a look at the pattern and I was like, uh, I think I can totally do that. And these yarns are super yummy. Like I opened like the first two days and I had to put it on my needles immediately. And I've been obsessed, obsessed with it. Are you ready to see all this knitting I did in July? Look at this. <gasps> look how good. Now I am in the middle of stitching day six. So I started opening on the 12th, I'm on day six. I'm not a very fast knitter, I'm kind of a slow knitter. Um, and I only knit, you know, like a few rows a day, but enough that I'm getting good progress. Look at this. How amazing are these yarns? And I am loving this. So it came with the first day was a full size skein of this colorway. So this is the bottom part. And then you can see I'm now using it. There's another like 30 row repeat for that's this pattern here that I'm working on. So it was this big skein and then uh, I think 11 minis. So I think it was a 12 day advent. So it was one full size skein and 11 minis. I still have I've worked on this one's coming up next and then and the fun thing is is like you kind of go back see they do the pattern has little callbacks right so you 
you move on to this color, but then you get a pop of the teal from below. You move on to the this color, and you get a pop of the yellow from below. And so after this 30-row repeat, then you kind of go back and call back some of these other colors before moving on to this one. But how gorgeous is this? The colors are fantastic, and it's such a light, breezy knit. I am, I'm just obsessed. I'm loving this. So this is Fangirl Fibers, and her yarn's also yummy and delicious. Fingering weight. Um, so there you go. So that's my knitting. So that's it. That's what I've been up to this month. It has been a little busy, but good busy. But good, good busy, and... Um, it's going to be that way for the foreseeable future. So thank you so much for stopping by. I'm sorry that I'm still in my car. It's just, uh, it seems every day I was like, maybe it'll get done today. And then it doesn't, maybe it'll get done today. And so then this morning I thought I have a few hours to kill at the studio. I'm going to bring everything and I'm just going to get it done. Sometimes done is better than perfect progress not perfection right that's what we're working on here so I hope you are all doing well and giving yourself a little grace and taking care of yourself and I will be back for sure at the beginning of September if not before then and until then cheers